in chapter 12 of the death of Ivan Ilyich, from the time Ivan Ilyich sent his wife away, he begins incessant screaming that continues for three days. Screaming that resulted from Ivan's realization that he was lost. The end had come. Time did not exist for Ivan anymore. Struggling against being pulled into the black sack or toward death, which is dragging him down against his will, Ivan knows that he cannot save himself, and every moment he felt he was drawing nearer and nearer to what terrified him. Ivan suddenly feels some force strike him in the chest and side. Then he fell through the black hole in the black sack, and there was at the bottom a light. Ivan's son comes up to his father's bed weeping, and Ivan's flailing hand brushes against his son's head. When his son takes his father's hand and kisses it, Ivan Ilyich fell through the black sack and caught sight of the light. In the two hours before his death, he remains aware of those around him. He feels pity for his weeping son and wife and tries to ask for forgiveness but can't speak coherently. He feels all his attachments falling away from him. He realizes death is the light. No longer afraid of death, he exclaims, what joy! For his assembled family, all this took place in the two hours before Ivan died. But Ivan experienced all this in a single instant. As Ivan Ilyich draws his final breath, he understands that death is no more. By falling through the imagined sack, his attachment to his life of propriety is ripped away. Similarly, the metaphor of a moving train explains Ivan's epiphany. Ivan had always felt his life of propriety was propelling him forward. In fact, it was moving him in a backward direction that deadened his spirit. His life of decorum and propriety was all misdirected. Ivan falls through the black sack into the light, freed from the artificial life that had killed his soul, and moves into the light in which he's reborn as a joyful spiritual being. The train metaphor encompasses both acceptance and redemption. When Ivan's flailing hand touches his son's forehead, he's connecting physically with another human being in a loving way for the first time in the story. This human connection further opens Ivan Ilyich's heart and redeems him. Death is no longer a terrible and fearsome thing, but rather a liberation into joy. This evokes Leo Tolstoy's religious belief that living an authentic life allows a person to die a peaceful and joyous death.